What is Jungle Core? Uh, a jungle? On your island? In Animal Crossing New Horizons? <laughs> Simple enough? Eh, not really. What sets the Jungle Core theme apart from others is its overwhelming emphasis on palm trees and bamboo. <laughs> Nature. Which is honestly both a blessing and a bit of a curse. It's great because jungle-themed islands aren't really all that difficult to put together. Just plant a tree, a bush, and a flower, and then repeat that process a thousand more times, and voila, you'll have yourself a jungle. The difficulty comes into play when you want to build a well-balanced jungle, but don't worry too much about that because I've got you covered. We're going to explore some terraforming tips and ideas. We'll check out some different area designs so you can break up any monotony in your jungle with fun and photogenic spaces. I found some awesome custom codes so you don't have to because we all know how tedious it is to scour the interweb looking for codes. And we'll also run through some of the best villagers for a jungle themed island. So put on your swimsuit and follow me as we dive into the fantastical and overgrown world of <laughs> Jungle Core. When it comes to terraforming, Jungle Core is actually a pretty forgiving theme if you aren't that confident in your terraforming skills. The essential element of a jungle is nature, so as long as you focus heavily on that, it's actually a pretty easy process. If you do want to dabble in a bit of terraforming, the two most common and I think simplest land terraforming designs are elevated walkways and third level scenic overlooks. Elevated walkways are a great way to kind of minimize the amount of terraforming you have to do because they're generally very narrow, but they're also highly effective in dividing up the spaces on your island while also connecting those spaces to each other. You can even use them to make little neighborhoods. The real jungle aspect comes into play with how you fill in the spaces on either side and in between the elevated paths. You can make mini jungles, you can do some water terraforming and make like a little pond or a small stream to add in a splash of variety. This is really where your creative perspective can shine in a way that makes your jungle island, well, yours. As for third level scenic overlooks, these are an awesome way to fill up space on your island if you're looking for more of a bigger build. Fossils can even be used to add a Jurassic type of feel to the area. I love scenic overlooks because they allow you to really experience and look at the masterpiece that is your island, and they're just a great spot to watch the sunset or maybe even do some yoga with the view. With water terraforming, there's a lot that you can do because jungles offer a lot of water inspiration. Obviously, you'll likely want to create some waterfalls. Jungle Core is a spectacular theme for you to experiment with designing sunken waterfalls because they offer a really good amount of flexibility and opportunity to add a sense of lusciousness to an area. Rivers tend to be more narrow and windy in jungles with lots of vegetation along the edges, so consider varying the parts of your rivers to between two and four squares wide to really create a nice natural feel. Plant your bushes everywhere. Lakes are another relatively common design to make on jungle-themed islands because they can fill in really large spaces easily and can even be featured as the view beneath your scenic overlook. Terraforming and planting bamboo can only take you so far. Let's check out some different design options to help your jungle island feel like more than just a jungle. Swamps are surprisingly rare as a design idea from what I've seen, but I think they look incredible. In this swamp design by Animal Crossing New Horizons Land, I love the use of weeds. I'm a full believer that weeds are underappreciated in this game, especially during the summer season. With a little bit of water terraforming and some additional splashes of greenery, this is an awesome swamp design. Horrible Gaming made this swamp, which is also just blows my mind. If you're curious about the swamp code that was used for the ground, stick around because we'll check it out in the custom code section of the video. Ruins are another design idea that I don't feel like I see very often, but I think ruins fit perfectly with the Jungle Core theme. This ruin built by Flynn Crossing uses a lot of stone items and the area just feels overgrown and even a little mystical. I almost expect to see the little clacking spirit creatures from Princess Mononoke pop up and guide me to the spirit of the jungle.
Honestly, I just really love Port Haven, which is Flynn Crossing's island, so the next few design ideas are also from here. We've got a beach neighborhood, which is a pretty common design idea, but I think that this neighborhood really captures the feel of the jungle core theme. The items and the colors all fit together really well, and I love that you can see little splashes of the villagers' personalities throughout the area. An island. On an island. Groundbreaking. No, but for real, my mind is blown! This is a small island design that you can only get to through the green warp pipes. What I love about this idea is that you can't just cross a bridge or hop over the water to get here, which adds a sense of like a reward almost, or even like a mystery to the island. And it even works nicely as something to look at from across the water. I think something like this is probably a little more difficult to make, but it's definitely a design that I think is really gonna be worth the effort. The last design idea that we'll be looking at is this infinity pool by Animal Crossing New Horizons dot Land. I love this idea for a jungle theme because it fits perfectly with the natural feel of the island while also adding a bit of a like a resort feel. It helps the island appear more inhabited and actually lived on. Now let's check out some custom codes that I found that are perfect for Jungle Core Islands. I hope that you find these codes useful and usable for your specific island. Enjoy! First up, we've got four path options. This is the most common Jungle Core path you're likely to see. It looks like a dark, damp dirt path with ferns and flowers along the edges to really help the path and the lusciousness of your island. Here we've got three sand path options. These are a little more subtle, meaning that they'll blend in really well on your island, and I think that they'll also pair nicely with the palm trees and the sand that you have to place in order to plant your palm trees. This is a path that you can place over stone. I think this paired nicely with the stone paths that you can just buy from the Nook terminal. Placing this over the stone path can help an area to feel overgrown and mysterious. And here we have that swamp path that we saw earlier. The details in this design are just insane. You can't really have a jungle without a little water. So here are some water codes that I think fit amazingly on Jungle Themed Island. I love the crystal clearness of this water. There's a sunken train track, again, really fitting with the feel of an overgrown jungle island. It actually reminds me a little bit of Spirited Away, so I may just have a really strong sentimental attachment to it because of that. I've seen this water code used a lot on forest core and co uh, elegant core islands, but I think it also works really well with the jungle theme because it's just beautiful. I love this because the water looks super clean and clear, and the code even includes the dock. This would be an awesome option if you wanted to make a villager's home feel like it's floating because you can still place things on the ground like a life ring. It's super versatile. Next up, ground codes. Here's a great flower code. I love the color and the texture of the leaves. Everything here is amazing. There's a wooden walkway or like a bridge design that looks really real and authentic. And the little path-like designs would be a great use as like secret paths across the island, or they could even give off the illusion of the land being blanketed by fallen leaves. This is another cute little plant design that I think would work super well on like a little garden area. This lily pad is perfect for beaches and little ponds. And here's a common code for narrow elevated walkways. It looks a little bit like a suspension bridge. And this is another code for additional fallen and ferns and leave. And lastly, I just really wanted to include this panel design because I think it's just stellar, especially if you wanted to make a little hut or a cabin in the jungle. This panel just really helps to add a natural roughing it feel. Let's talk villagers! When I think of jungles, the first species of animal that comes to mind is the tiger. As such, Rowan and Bengal are the two tiger-like villagers that most scream jungle core to me. They give me age gap couple vibes. Rowan is the 40-year-old, twice-divorced older man who never really figured out or accepted that he was the reason his previous marriages failed. And Bengal is like the 20-something-year-old, easily excited girl who's feeling in love for the first time and confused older age for sophistication and wisdom. Hopefully it works out for them. 
Boon. <laughs> he is the villager who I don't like, but I feel like I had to include him because he very much reminds me of King Louie from the Jungle Book. <laughs> And Jungle is literally in the title of the movie, so... Boon Butt. Camo Frog is a 12-year-old psychopath assassin. He's literally designed in camo so he can sneak up on you and attack you without being noticed. And if he is somehow noticed, he looks like a kid, so no one would believe that he's harmful. But he is. He absolutely is. It's all in the eyes. Pudge is an orphan bear cub who's lost and wandering the jungle, sniffling the whole time because he doesn't know what to do or where to go. If you bring him home with you after finding him on a dreamy hunt, please keep in mind that you've essentially just become this little guy's guardian. He may always be on the verge of tears, but that's understandable. He's been through a lot. I think... Camo Frog might have murdered his parents. Drago is literally a dragon, but he never got his wings and he spent his whole life stewing over the fact that he'll never get to fly. So anytime he takes a ride with Wilbur, he sticks his head out of the window like a dog, because that's the only time he'll ever get to feel like the dragon he's always wanted to be. Rory and Lopez are each other's wingmen. They go out bar hopping every weekend trying to pick up lovers for the night. But they always end up going home with each other. What do they do while alone at night with the lights off? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> Beastars. Timbra is a martini gal who hates everyone and everything. Her horns are green because she asked her daddy to buy her specially designed horns that were made from money because she's so wealthy that she can't afford to buy empathy. But she charged her black diamond card for apathy. Tangy is a cat who got stuck in a tree for so long she became an orange. Rumor has it if you hold a glass to her eyes while she cries, you can drink her tears and they'll taste just like orange juice with a pinch of salt. Mmm, delicious. Is Jungle Core right for you? Probably. It's one of the most forgiving island themes to try out, and there's lots of concrete representation to draw inspiration from. It's a wonderful theme to use as a way to practice your terraforming skills, and there's a lot of variety in how jungles can be designed. We've seen really colorful islands like Horrible Gaming's Island Moss Deep, and we've seen a more monotone colored scheme island in Flynn Crossing's Island Port Haven. If you like nature, beaches, bright color, and just really want to make your island feel like a fun tropical getaway, then Jungle Core is an awesome island theme that'll allow you to do all of that in a very scalable and easily manageable way. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end, leave a comment letting me know your island's name and how you chose it. I'm almost finished with Elowin and I'm starting to think about my next island. I'm planning to make a white and blue resort style village with a splash of elegant core. And I cannot for the life of me come up with a name. So I'm looking for inspiration and ideas. I also wanted to apologize for posting my videos so sporadically. I'm dealing with a lot at the moment in my personal life, but I'll continue to make videos as frequently as I can. I appreciate your support and your patience. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!